Now that we've got bare metal servers for VPC live in the IBM Cloud, I'm going to take you through a quick intro and demo of this exciting offering. IBM Cloud bare metal servers for VPC using Intel Xeon processors are helping our clients land large workloads into a faster and more scalable environment with all the network connectivity benefits that you would expect in a virtual private cloud. Hi, I'm Amarte Pearson, a senior technical staff member with IBM Cloud and the lead architect for VPC bare metal infrastructure. So, what is a bare metal server for VPC? Think of it like a virtual server, except that it gives you the entire physical machine, delivering all the benefits that you would expect of bare metal, such as enabling you to leverage your own hypervisor or any specialized workload, all inside of the software-defined VPC network. Bare metal built in VPC is a major quality of life improvement with fast provisioning, per hour billing, and perhaps most importantly, full integration with the VPC network. Native to VPC, bare metal is now capable of 100 gigabits of network throughput, providing exceptional speed. VPC network constructs such as security groups, custom routes, load balancers, they're all fully supported. Compared to our classic bare metal offering, bare metal for VPC brings greater throughput, scalability, and the performance expected in a cloud environment. Let's take you through the ordering experience and show you how to order a bare metal server and do something super simple like attach a floating IP. Let's get started. First, I need to log into the IBM Cloud Console. For new users, a PayGo account is required to access most infrastructure services, including bare metal for VPC. You'll see a new bare metal servers for VPC tile in the catalog. We'll go ahead and select that. You'll find that under the Services Compute section of the catalog. For VPC users, this should feel familiar when compared with virtual servers. Here, we can name our server, select a resource group, data center location, operating system, select our server profile, and customize our network options. Let's dive into the profiles. Our servers feature Intel Xeon processors, including two CPU and four CPU profiles in various memory and secondary local drive configurations. Here, I've chosen a profile with 96 cores, 768 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 3.2 terabyte NVMe drives. These servers are ideal for high-end performance workloads because of their all-flash storage and high Intel CPU core count, perfect for slicing up into a lot of chunks, whether it's virtual machines or containers. The secondary local drives are all NVMe, allowing you to get some truly amazing I.O. performance. I also like that it's optimized for certified workloads and software solutions and flexible enough for workloads such as OpenShift, VMware, and SAP. Once your selections are to your liking, you can click Create on the right-hand side and wait for the provisioning to complete. This typically takes about 10 minutes to complete in comparison to bare metal in our classic infrastructure, which varies between two and four hours depending on the complexity of your config. In VPC, we're going to save a lot of time. Once we've created the server, you'll see a list of your existing servers with the new server in pending state. You'll notice that we're in the VPC section of the customer portal in the Compute Bare Metal Servers subsection. Instead of waiting for the server to finish deploying, let's click on a server I deployed earlier and see detailed information about the host. Here you'll find all the details about your server and the ability to modify things such as the name or add additional network interfaces. You'll notice how similar this is to virtual servers, and that's intentional. There's an actions menu at the top, which allows you to power on or off or restart the server, as well as launch a graphical or serial console to the bare metal server. The graphical console allows you to interact with the server before it's even powered on. The network interfaces have a few more capabilities compared to virtual servers, such as the ability to choose an interface type, but otherwise should be very familiar to virtual server users. So I promised I'd show you how to attach a floating IP after we'd created the bare metal server. To do so, we'll simply edit any interface on which we want to add a floating IP. We'll select an existing or create a new IP and hit Save. We can now use that public floating IP immediately. In this case, I'll simply point to that IP in my browser, and we'll see a login screen for VMware ESXi, which is the operating system image that we chose when creating the server. With our virtual private cloud networking as a foundation, our new bare metal servers fit in perfectly with the rest of your cloud infrastructure. You can worry less by reducing complexity in your network design, 
Rapid scaling and hourly billing with bare metal for VPC also means that you aren't trading off between scale out speed and compute performance. Now that you've seen how easy it is, sign up and try bare metal for VPC today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe for more videos.